Oh shit, pizza! Keep pulled pizza out. It's probably done. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren. Welcome to Beauty and the Bullies. Um, today I had switched up my brow routine this weekend and I really liked it, so I thought I'd just go ahead and film just my brows. Um, so that's what you'll be seeing today. I basically just started using a brow mascara in the front and only doing like a dip brow kind of thing on the tail. Um, I got this idea from the Battle Lash channel with Samantha over there. She's the best. She's like one of my favorite people to watch. She's very informative. She's hilarious. Just all around a really good channel. So um, the product that I'll be using is the Brow Stylist Plumper. Um, brow Gel Mascara by L'Oreal Paris. I went to actually get the the NYX one, and they were sold out because I made the mistake of going to Target instead of Ulta. Ugh. Focus. It's not gonna focus, but it's got I'll like like a picture or something. Oh, there you go. Um. Anyway, but it's really nice. I like it. It's got a really tiny wand on the tip of it, which you'll see like during application, and that helps a lot. But anyway, if you want to learn how to get my brows. Then keep on watching. Alright guys, so to get started, I'm going to go in with the brow mascara. Let me zoom in real quick first so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Alright, so it's got the teeny tiny wand. I'm going to wiggle it in the front just like you would with your lashes and start combing through. Most important part of this step is to go with the growth of your hair. So where the hair is growing upward, I'm flicking upwards. And where they start to go to the side, I'm combing it sideways. I like the formula of this product because if you ever get like any just clumps on your actual skin, you can just scrape it off with your fingers. It's very um, wet in the beginning. And that also helps you not get too much product caked in your brows. And then for the tail, I'm just going to take my regular cream liner in Coffee by e.l.f. Dip in with my NYX B22 and scrape off even more product with the edges. And I'm starting in the very middle of where my hair grows and pulling out in a little tail. My eyebrows are already fairly long. And then I'm going from the top and the underneath to connect to that line and filling it in. As I get less and less product, I'll start working my way towards the front a little bit, but I don't want it to be like a super fleek brow like I normally do. So again, mapping out the shape first, top and bottom to connect, and then filling it in. This is a much more natural approach while still giving it a lot of shape and the mascara gives it a good hold as well. Alrighty you guys, um, that's most of what I have for you today. I just wanted to take a moment to mention like a few products that I'm wearing since I don't usually like do green eye looks and things like this. Um, the lips that I'm wearing are pretty much, sorry my foot itches. <laughs> yeah. The lip that I'm wearing is pretty much a dupe for um, MAC Myth Lipstick. I don't know about formula wise because I don't own it. Um, but it's by Gerard Cosmetics. It's called Kimchi Doll. It broke like pretty far down on the tube while I was putting it on. It's just like a super, super nude. Like it's really light. Um, I used a little bit of brown liner and then like colored all over it. So um, that's that one. I used my liner pen for my Ipsy bag. I love it. I honestly do. It let me get like a really fine line around um, the lash line and whenever I was drawing my wings it was really precise so I ended up going a little ham with the wings anyway but it was really opaque and I didn't have to do like more than one coat I just had to like fill it in once which was cool uh, what was the last thing oh I used the Smashbox full exposure mascara I'm really not impressed um, I told you guys that I don't really buy high-end mascaras because like I just I don't feel like it's worth spending that much money unless it is like better than sex. Um, that's the only one that I will go ahead and spend like twenty bucks on. But now that I wear lashes, like I really just need my lashes to be dark. Like it doesn't matter to me. But it was the brush is kind of cool because it like it's 
really dense, but I almost feel like either the formula or the way the brush is doesn't pick up hardly any product. And so like that or it's just like really watery because like I was putting it on and like it's black, but I couldn't hardly tell that I had any product. Like even to get it show up on the bottom lashes, fuckies, I had to like coat them with the tip of the brush and then comb it out. And then I feel like it still didn't even stick. So, <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of a flop for me. I definitely won't be purchasing the full size. But I am glad that I got it to try anyway via Ipsy because I like whenever they send, like, good brand names and things that I'm actually interested in trying. So, this month was a really good bag. I'm happy with, like, 90% of the stuff I got. I did use the hairspray, but my hair's wet, so who knows if it'll work. <laughs> Anyway, um, let me know what you guys want to see next in the comments below as well as what you think about this brow tutorial. Um, give it a like if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.